Hi and welcome to the quick start guide of Unified Learning Kit 1. This tutorial is prepared by the ULK team of Mission 10x Wipro Technologies. This tutorial focuses on the contents of standard delivery of ULK 1 and steps involved in installation of Ubuntu 9.10 operating systems and related ULK software. We will also discuss about connecting ULK1 with a PC, the documentation and files provided in the DVD, and configuration required for running the applications. We will conclude by execution of sample exercises provided in the DVD. Upon opening the ULK1 delivery package, you will find ULK board inside a wooden enclosure, a 6x6 keypad, 5V power supply adapter, stylus for LCD touchscreen, and a cable accessory pouch. The list of cables provided with the kit includes PGA cable for connecting with the external monitor, UART serial cable, RCA cable for video output to a TV, OTG to standard USB adapter, and the Ethernet cable. The package also includes installation CDs for Ubuntu 9.10, the ULK software, and updates on Xilinx application. Let's start with the installation of software. The first step is to procure a PC or a laptop with specified minimum configuration. That is, RAM should be greater than 512 MB and 20 plus GB of hard disk space should be available. We will also need a DVD reader. Next, we need to install Ubuntu 9.10 using the CD given with the kit. We can install Ubuntu after formatting the whole system or as a dual boot, side by side with Windows. Once Ubuntu is installed, the system would restart. Remove the Ubuntu CD from the DVD drive and boot up the system with Ubuntu. Put the ULK installation DVD in the drive and wait till it is mounted. Through terminal window, run the install.sh script from the DVD. To do this, open the terminal and type the command shown here. Execution of this script will install ULK control panel, Eclipse and Xilinx applications. Installation should be complete with the folder ULK release 2.0 being copied to your desktop. In case it's not done, you can manually copy the folder from DVD onto your desktop by running the given command on terminal window. As depicted in this screen, apart from PC, we can connect the following modules or devices with the ULK1 kit. External monitor, a television, keypad for ARM processor, USB devices like mouse and keyboard. To connect multiple USB devices simultaneously, we would require a USB hub. We can also connect audio devices like headphone with mic and speakers with the ULK1. Now you already know that we can connect multiple devices with ULK1. We shall now show you how to connect ULK1 with PC or laptop for development of lab exercises. We definitely need 5V of DC supply for ULK. ULK1 can be connected to PC COM port using UART serial cable provided in the kit. We can also connect Ethernet cross cable for establishing a direct communication between PC and ULK1. In case of availability of LAN or a network hub, ULK1 and PC can be connected to two ports of the network using normal Ethernet cables. For this tutorial, we will continue our explanation using Ethernet cross cable. Now 
once you are done with the installation of ULK software, you will have ULK release 2.0 folder copied to your desktop. Let's browse through this folder to understand the documentation provided for the ULK user. ULK Dev Firm folder contains information regarding firmware recovery and firmware update. It also has description for creating a Linux SD card to be used with ULK kit. The documentation related to ULK diagnostics is also part of this folder. Folder ULK Docs contains information on two important aspects of ULK. FPGA programming on ULK and ULK hardware reference manual. The hardware reference manual is useful for the users in creating applications using various hardware interfaces. This is also required to create additional hardware plug in modules around ULK. The ULK host folder has details on source code for Linux file system and ULK control panel software. It also has installation files for ARM processor toolchain, Eclipse, ULK control panel and Xilinx application. The folder ULK SDK sources contain low-level API library and test applications. For example, ULK LED folder has documentation and API code related to LED interface of the ULK. One can modify the existing API or add a new one through this folder. The ULK Startup Manual details information on boot sequence of the ULK kit and Xilinx application installation and licensing procedure. And the last directory is ULK Vendor which contains the source code of all necessary drivers. In case these drivers are modified, the script vendor .sh has to be executed to ensure compilation of all modified source code and generation of necessary binary files. So this is all about the source code and documentation provided on the DVT. This screen summarizes the folder structure and ULK documentation details made available to you. After installation of software for ULK and making the required connection between ULK and your PC, you are now ready to execute sample applications via serial port. To communicate with the kit, we need to configure the serial port using Minicom. Open a terminal by clicking on terminal icon on the taskbar. On the terminal type Minicom space hyphen S and click enter. What you see is the configuration window. Using up and down arrow keys, navigate to Serial Port Setup option and hit Enter. You get this screen with options to set serial port configurations like device, bit rate, and flow control. The individual setting can be modified using the menu on the left, that is A to G. The device connected to our system is TTYS0, so I will modify it. Press A and then make the change. You could do the same based on your serial device. Verify other setting parameters as shown on this screen. After the modification, press enter again to go back to the previous menu. Navigate to exit and hit enter. This will initialize the modem. Now once you power on your ULK kit, the boot sequence will appear on this screen. To leave Minicom, press Ctrl A and then X. Select Yes and hit Enter. This will take you to command line prompt in the terminal window. 